Review for Rabid, uh, 1977, David Cronenberg. Starring Mary, Marilyn Chambers, Frank Moore. So this is a, this is a weird one. Um, <laughs> very strange movie. Um, but it is pretty much a zombie movie. Um, because it, the, the synopsis, a young woman develops a taste for human blood after experimental plastic surgery and her victims turn into bloodthirsty zombies leading into a citywide epidemic. So that pretty much sums it up. This is in Canada. Uh, David Cronenberg is Canadian. Stars Marilyn Chambers. And in the beginning of the movie... There's this facility, this hospital, like a, it's a plastic surgery hospital, actually. And, and they're doing this um, experimental procedures that could help uh, you heal and survive, you know, extreme um, uh, damage to your tissue. And some people are just there for plastic surgery. And there is an accident with Marilyn Chambers and Frank Moore on a motorcycle, and they're right near the facility. And she gets really messed up. She almost dies. He does, he he survive he he isn't as messed up. They kind of just have to fix his arm. So they're not doing the procedure on him. And then she is like about to die. So they do the procedure on her. And then she, he, you know, she's healing very quickly and they're kind of uh, shocked that she's even healing this quickly and something goes wrong. And she basically needs to um, drink blood in order to survive. And if she doesn't drink blood. She, she starts to, um, get very cold and then they say you go into a coma and die so she uh starts killing people's people in this facility some of them survive and then they basically become the zombie like creatures so she doesn't really become one she has this thing that like it's like a knife almost that like comes out of her like under her arm and, like, she'll, like, you know, start hugging a guy. And she's a very attractive woman, so she uses that to her advantage. Mostly men she attacks, because it's, you know, much easier. Um, and, yeah, and then this thing comes out, and it starts, like, sucking their blood. She does this to one of the doctors in a pretty crazy scene. Because then he he's all messed up. He doesn't remember what happened. And then, like, the next day, he's, he's like, trying to, you know, say, like, I'm, I'm okay. And he has to go into a uh, surgery. And then in the surgery, he's, like, kind of shaking. He, you know, like, the nurses and the other doctors are like, uh, are you okay? They're like, you want us to finish this up? And he's like, no, no, I'll do it. And then he gets scissors. And he grabs one of the nurse's hands and he cuts off her finger and starts drinking her blood. And then, and then he just starts attacking everyone in, in the operating room and they're all running out. I, th I thought that was one of the more memorable scenes in the movie. Um, and then that guy just turns into a zombie foaming at the mouth uh, with like this green liquid dripping down. And yeah, it just becomes basically a an interesting zombie movie. I I didn't realize that that was this that that that, that this is what that's about when I started to watch this movie. But um, I I really started to enjoy it. I, I I think it's early Cronenberg. There's definitely some music in this that uh, you'll hear later, especially Scanners. Some of the music really rem reminded me of Scanners. Um, who does oh, who does the music? Ivan Reitman produced this he, music department. Says Ivan Reitman. I wonder if he did the music. 
Because I know that uh, in a lot of Cronenberg movies, he uses the guy that did Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. Not seeing him. So I guess I guess it's Ivan Reitman. Wow. So he he he, he could do he could score a movie. Wow, just a man of many talents. So Ivan Reitman, obviously, you know, director of Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters 2, Twins, Stripes, Meatballs. So that's interesting. Okay. And then, yeah, and she escapes. She keeps doing this. If the people survive, they become zombies. She kind of goes down the road. She goes into a barn. There's this farmer. He, he She goes into the, his barn. He's all drunk. He comes in there. He starts attacking her. And then she uh, fights back and attacks him. Then later you see him at a diner and he's like, he's like, I, I need food. And then, and then they give him some fried chicken and he just starts eating it in the guy. And then, and then he attacks a guy near him. So then it's like this epidemic is spreading. So, and, um, man, did this movie kind of predict the future I don't, I don't want to talk about, get into it that much, but this movie has, uh, you know, mandatory vaccines, vaccine passports. Um, it has the, the, the World Health Organization taking over. Martial law is, is implemented. You know, kind of reminds me of a certain thing that happened a few years ago. <laughs> but um, I was like, wow, this like, totally predicted like like all of that but obviously this is i mean more serious because they're bloodthirsty zombies and it's spreading pretty quickly because then she you know she hitches a ride with a truck driver after a while she attacks him she's like trying to get to like her friend's place and she's like a nursing student or something in uh montreal because it's connect canada and she find and then she she keeps attacking more people because if she doesn't drink blood then she gets sick. She she tries to eat normal food. She can't eat it. Makes her throw up. And um, apparently Marilyn Chambers was like was was a porn actress before this. I mean she's a she, you know she's a very uh, hot woman so uh, I could see that. But um, I thought she did a I thought she did a decent job. I mean, you know, it's not going to win an Academy Award or anything, but she did a pretty good job, I, I thought, showing the emotion you, um, later. And then she calls Frank Moore, who's, you know, his arm's kind of messed up, but he, but he's okay, because they didn't do the procedure on him, like I said. He's like a mechanic or something. And then she's like, come pick me up. I'm at, I'm at you know, my friend's place. So then he's kind of trying to get there. And... Then Marilyn Chambers, when she's at the friend's place, she starts getting sick. So then she leaves. She starts attacking some other people. That causes the epidemic to spread. She goes back to her place. And then um, Frank Moore finally shows up. And then when he opens the door, she's attacking her friend. So she, she kills her friend or her friend's going to turn into a zombie or something. Doesn't really show that, but... Uh, I thought that scene was pretty good though, because she's like, she's like crying, and she's like, "No, I'm, like, I'm still myself. Like, you need to help me." And Frank Moore's like, he doesn't want anything to do with this. And then she's like, "It's your fault," because he was driving the motorcycle. And then he's like, "Okay, okay, we'll help you. We'll go to a hospital," and which isn't a good idea because they will just kill her. They're just killing these zombies on site because they say there's no cure. There's only a vaccine that you take before you get bitten. At first, they were giving them um, the rabies vaccine, but that wasn't working. So I guess they produced this vaccine and um, a bunch of people are getting it. But she doesn't want to go to the hospital because they will kill her. 
I'm sure I'll lock her in a room until well, I guess she goes into a coma and dies. Uh, so she runs away. She she doesn't attack him because she really doesn't want to. She didn't want to attack her friend. You, you can really tell that. So I thought the acting was, you know, for a porn star, not not bad, really. Uh, um, I mean, uh, you know, it's David Cronenberg. His direction was probably pretty good to her. So, so yeah, I, I don't really have any complaints there. I, I really like the tone of this movie, the feel. Very Cronenberg. Uh, that's the thing I like about a lot of Cronenberg movies. They, they feel like they could take place in the same world. Like this, Scanners, The Fly, um, Videodrome, even maybe Videodrome's a little bit, you know, in the future, because that's like, that, that's later, that's like 10 years later. So I, I think that makes sense, actually. But yeah, I really like that about Cronenberg movies. Like, it just, the, like the feel, the tone, and, and the music, like I said, definitely some musical tones that you'll see later in in his movies so but um yeah i think you should definitely check this movie out you know it kind of ends like how you think it ends I, I i won't get into that but i think it's definitely worth a watch if you're a cronenberg fan you know this is uh early cronenberg before this, he made Shivers, which I haven't seen that one yet. But Cronenberg, I think, is is a great director. You know, he's not for everyone. I think a lot of people will find his movies odd and maybe gross. But yeah, he did Shivers, Peep Show TV series, Teleplay, Rabid. Canadian Reflections. I don't know if that's a TV series. Fast Company. Hmm. I'd like to see that. The Brood, Scanners, Videodrome. So. Man, he did it. He directed an episode of Friday the 13th, the TV series. Which I've, I've never seen that. Interesting. Very interesting. And maybe all I watched some of Crimes of the Future. I watched about half of it. I couldn't just I just just wasn't not into it. But maybe I'll finish it and review it. But um, I don't know. Once you get into the two thousands, I'm not really into a lot of his stuff. But I like Eastern Promises. I like a history of violence. I thought a dangerous method was okay. So, but anyways, it's an interesting movie. And Ivan Reitman produced it and did some of the music so that's kind of cool so i guess i guess they're friends i think ivan reitman's canadian too so that makes sense right maybe they i don't know if they went to film school together or what but um but yeah uh rabid it's uh an interesting sci-fi movie definitely uh influenced by romero you know, but um, I thought I, I thought it was an alright flick. I mean, you know, it's nothing amazing. I still think that Cronenberg's best movie is Videodrome, and then maybe The Fly, but definitely Videodrome. Scanners is up there for me too. But yeah, David Cronenberg is uh, one of my favorites. So, but uh, check it out, Rabid, nineteen seventy seven. But that's about it. And if you could do me a favor and smash that like button, that'd be great. And uh, I'll see you next time.